Hello, it's Marco from Deep Plugins. I'm excited to show you the latest feature of the Vinden and what you can see here inside the editor, the third tab is now the wizard. Uh, the wizard can help you to create the colors, color shades, the font sizes. Uh, as you can see, it's the sizes ratio. Then you can load the font families or uh, you can have the spaces. Then you can create the breakpoints and also there is a setting so you can easily enable or disable the features. And also what you can see here under the settings, it's the actual config file that we are generating and we are injecting it to combine it with our uh, config. So uh, once you create something into wizard, you can actually extend your feature or overwrite or write along the side uh, inside the code so the wizard doesn't have any actual limitations and also if you're asking uh, if the wizard are going to break something no because by the default we are extending so if you have your uh, tilewind default settings uh, and once you update the Winden, you are going to extend it so you can just go and disable features or you can actually start using the Winden with the or the wizard with the latest Winden version. Let's start uh, adding the defaults, default presets. So we can just add the primary, we can add the secondary and we can add the neutral colors. And uh, once you update it, uh, you can go to the style guide and you can see there at the bottom after the defaults. So if uh, we disable the extent, we are going to overwrite the default. So let's just uh, include the utility colors and that's the white, black, transparent, current, inherit and auto because definitely we will need those as well. And instead uh, of just uh, adding to the config and adding them, uh, you have just one click and it's going to be there. So what you can see here, we already added the colors. And let's just uh, start messing with the colors. And you can see we have the, the hue uh, and then we have the RGB. And also you can see the sliders as we move them, it's going to that color. Uh, also, we can optimize the number of shades and we can optimize the lightest and also the darkest point. So if you need something almost to the black, you can move it to the hundred. Also, uh, we have the color presets. So you can see here, you can just pick them or uh, you can even write the color name. For example, if you press red, and you hit the enter, it's going to change the red or let's write olive, it's going to move to the olive. But in case uh, you want uh, that uh, or you're happy with uh, the name, let's just add the name and let's lock it. So you can still use the red, but it's going to always keep the primary uh, name. Also, you can decide uh, what what uh, colors you want and you can also uh, choose the default and you can also uh, rename this so let's hover border update you can uh, just uh, clear it let's just go and you can see we have the default and we have the hover as well. You can also, uh, of course, just delete if you don't need it. And also, for example, the neutrals, it's the pure gray, but I usually like that they have some shade of the, the primary color. So you can just move it slight, slightly like this and you're good uh, with your colors already. I just update. Style guide. Perfect. So we have our primary and we have our dim gray. Actually, I just forgot to lock it. Let's go to gray. Update. Style guide. 
and we are good to go with the colors here we also have the preview of all the colors and uh, also what I wanted to show you is this if you need something uh, extra in the config we are just going to extend the colors here as well and what you can see here we have the primary gray we have the utility and we also have extra color that we managed to register with our config as well so those are working uh, perfect in the combination as well let's now move to the font sizes and also the spaces are uh, identical so uh, what we can have here we can uh, disable the extend also we have the minimum uh, the maximum also the minimum screen size the maximum screen size you probably already know how to use the fluid typography uh, we also have the steps and we have the the base step so everything uh, after the base step is going to be bigger everything before the base step is going to be smaller based on the ratio as well but uh, also same as uh, with the colors you can disable uh, some if you don't need them but also what you can do also you can overwrite as well so if for example you need this one to be 100 pixels here you go if you decide not to have it let's just uh, clear it out also we can uh, disable the fluids so what you can actually just use the scale ratio with the uh, provided steps so it's going to be uh, fixed values instead of the fluid and you can also decide if you want to use the RAM or if you want to use the pixels and if you're using the RAM uh, you need to decide uh, what is your default uh, RAM size as well uh, the spaces are uh, the same is just instead of the preview for the typography we have the preview of a box to showcase uh, the size of the spaces the spaces are for the margin padding paddings and the gap then we have the font family you can just uh, load them we can replace what you need uh, there is a preset for the title and the body but i prefer to have the title subtitle and the body as well so uh, once you press it it's going to load um, load the preset and you can just edit it uh, soon we are going to connect it with the font hero as well so we can actually pull the values from the font hero then we have the breakpoints we also have the presets you can decide if you want to extend it or not or if you want to have it as a desktop first so if we update it actually you can just see it here and you can see just a second yeah so it's uh, working perfectly and that's it uh, you can see how in just a couple of clicks you can set up or change entire uh, design system uh, within the Vinden and our new wizard hopefully uh, you will give us uh, more ideas what we need to include uh, we still need to work on the shadows we need to work on the corner radius as well another but please uh, reach out uh, to us on our support uh, website or join our facebook group and uh, give us uh, what is missing in your daily workflow with the WordPress and the Vinden. Thank you so much and see you soon.